Good morning and welcome back to Trev's Travels by Narrowboat. I keep getting asked, do I do DIY jobs on the boat? And the answer quite simply is yes, I do quite a few. And I keep getting asked also, why don't I video them? Well, normally I find I want to get on with the job and trying to video it gets in the way and slows me down. But today I'm rather slowed down anyway. I suffer with a form of arthritis, which is called gout. And at the moment I'm hobbling around. Hence, I'm looking a bit rough around the edges. I'm not really feeling too great. But I have found whilst I'm standing up, I'm a little bit easier than actually sitting down. So I'm getting on with a couple of little jobs on the boat today. Just arrived in the mail yesterday, I got some of this draft excluder. I've had a little bit of a problem on the boat since I bought it, but the windows are very, very drafty. One window. And here's been the problem. Take the windows out. We're just gonna do this one. I've just scraped out this one here this piece and look at it it's dry hard and pretty darn useless we have a gale force wind blown in the boat at the moment so hopefully the camera's not picking that up so let's remove some more of this yes it's probably not the correct tool kitchen knife but um it's what i got to hand I could use a utility knife, but I thought that might scratch the aluminium more, so cut into it, and I don't want to cut into the window frame. This stuff may not be very good and uh, gone hard, but it certainly was sticky. It's a job to remove it off the frame I'm not quite sure if I can get this to focus properly in here you can see the big gaps which are in this absolutely horrible so there we have it there's all the rubbish removed all the old stuff as I see it's all cracked up it's broken it's pretty useless so now let's put some new insulation in. Bit of a problem trying to get this into focus. What I'm doing is just wiping this off. There's a bit of the old stuff left on there, but uh, as long as it's smooth and clean, I think the new will take to it. So we'll clean it up. Right, so I've got it fairly well cleaned up now. There's a few little bits on there, but I don't think it's going to... I just... This doesn't want to come off. And after all, it's a 34-year-old boat. It's not going to be perfect. So now to put some new draft excluder in. What I'm doing is I've... Then it's I've cut basically a 45 degree angle on the new stuff and I'm just going to measure it down to the bottom of the window and I'll cut it off there. It may be a bit long at the moment but I'm going to trim it back a bit again in the minutes. Go up to the corner there. And 
try and keep it nice and straight. As we come down. It's just a fraction too long. I'm just going to trim that fraction off. It's easier to trim a bit off than it is add a bit on. These scissors will cut it. Oh, I'm trying to cut the uh, frame as well. No wonder the scissors wouldn't cut it. Just tuck that back in there. Just gonna press that into there so it's right in the bottom there nicely. There we go. After I did the first window and cut the corners at 45 degree angles, I realised this was no real advantage. So from there onwards, I butt joined the corners as shown here. This, of course, is on my chopping board and not in a window. So I'm not quite sure who's picking it up, but there we have it. New strip in. Just about the, the light coming through the windows playing havoc with the camera. Let's put the glass back in. And there we go. What a difference that makes. I've just got another 10 to do. Another job I have had done recently, and I didn't actually do this myself. I actually got somebody else to do it. So I actually got a marine engineer to fix, fix it. And he didn't like being on film. This is stern tube packing, which uh, goes obviously in the stern tube, then stop the water coming in the boat through the stern tube, where the propeller goes out in the drive shaft, or I should say the drive shaft to the propeller, and it was cut into little rings like this, which go around and go in over the stern tube, or go inside the stern tube around the propeller shaft, to stop water coming in. This is a, an extra one here that was, was cut. Was hoping to put three rings in, but we only managed to fit in two. Unfortunately, as I say, the guy that fitted it didn't want to be filmed, but just to show you, that was another little job done. So no leaky stern tube anymore. That's a bonus. Well, that was the first in a couple of jobs I've been getting on with recently. Sealing the rather drafty hopper windows and getting the stern tube repacked. I'm really glad that stern tube's been repacked. It had got very leaky. I was going through an awful lot of grease just trying to hold the water back when traveling. But that's done now, so that's good news. The windows are nowhere near as drafty as they were before. Of course, you're still, they're still cold and uh, you feel a lot of cold air from them, but at least uh, there's no gale force winds coming through them anymore. I will be getting on with some more jobs in the boat, so if you like the sort of DIY jobs, the next two or three videos are probably going to be on similar lines. As you all know out there, if you're in the boating community, if you own an older boat like I do, there's always jobs to be done. And even on new boats, there's always jobs to be done. You may put a little scratch in it and want to touch them up. So there's always little jobs to be done on boats. So the next video will be back to some sort of electrics. I'll be showing you all the new LED lighting I've fitted to the boat and a few upgrades 
to the electrics coming into the boat. That's for next time. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you really want to help the channel and help pay for some of this upgrades, consider becoming a Patreon or make a one-off PayPal donation. Every contribution that I receive is greatly received and I really, really appreciate everybody's help and keeping this channel going. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.